Are you tired of youth intake day rolling round in your FM24 save only to find out that the golden generation you'd set your heart on is made up of talentless hacks that you can't release fast enough? Well, in this video, we'll explain how you can use your youth facilities and training to maximize your chances of developing the next batch of FM24 Wonder Kids. And it all starts here, the club facilities page, which I often find a little difficult to interpret. Sure, I can see that a club's youth facilities might be adequate, but how good is that exactly? Just how far above the bottom category are my facilities? And how many times do I need to enter the boardroom and beg for upgrades before my facilities reach their maximum level? Well, let's try and explain how youth facilities, junior coaching and youth recruitment work in FM24. Each of these aspects of youth development are given a rating out of 20, with 1 being the poorest score and 20 meaning that you've reached an elite level in that particular category. But Football Manager doesn't allow us to see these scores out of 20 in the game. Instead, they use a description of the facilities that corresponds to that score. The only trouble is the same word indicates a different score depending on which aspect of youth facilities we're looking at. For example, having junior coaching that is described as basic is the lowest possible level and may mean our coaching is only 1 out of 20. But when it comes to ranking youth facilities, basic is no longer the lowest category and our facilities could be as high as 5 out of 20. So let's take a look at the different aspects of youth development in more detail and try and analyse how they might affect the youth intakes that we bring through. Let's begin with youth facilities where I was once under the misconception that these were the facilities my new gens used when they first joined the club. I thought improving these facilities would give my under-19s better conditions to train in and aid their developments. But youth facilities are only used by players before your youth intake day so improving them won't help you develop your young talents. For that, you will need to invest in your senior training facilities. But improving your youth facilities does improve the likelihood of bringing through better quality new gens in each youth intake. The lowest classification for youth facilities is poor. The ratings then go from poor to basic, to below average to adequate, before hitting average, which means your youth facilities are 10 or 11 out of 20. As a rough guide, there are clubs in the English Premier League that have average youth facilities. After after average, the categories are good, great, excellent and superb before you reach the pinnacle and convince your board to build state-of-the-art youth facilities. There are very few clubs in Football Manager that possess these state-of-the-art youth facilities. Not even FC Bayern or Barcelona reach that level. So if you reach that level in game, you have an excellent chance of bringing through elite new gens. Now we'll get to junior coaching and youth recruitment in a moment, but before we do, head down to the comment section and let us know your own experiences and stories of developing the youth infrastructure at your club? Have you ever taken a smaller team with poor facilities and developed state-of-the-art training and youth facilities for them, as well as hitting the top levels of junior coaching and youth recruitment? And tell us, did that translate into you bringing through some elite new-gen talent? And while you're down there commenting, if you'd like to leave a little like on this video, it helps tell YouTube that it might be useful to other players of Football Manager. Back to the youth development now, and next we'll look at junior coaching. And here, the ratings work slightly differently. Like youth facilities, junior coaching only affects players before intake day. You cannot influence your club's rating by signing talented coaches for your under-18 squad. You can only improve it by visiting the boardroom and pleading your case. But exercise caution here. When you improve your youth facilities, there is the upfront cost to your club that increases increases the better the facilities you're trying to develop. However, once that work is completed, there is little ongoing drain on your cash flow. However, having better junior coaching incurs an ongoing cost. So by improving it, you're committing to spending more money each month coaching junior players that you can't see in the game, which reduces the available cash to spend on other aspects of your save. In terms of categories of junior coaching, basic is the lowest, followed by fairly basic and average. And by the time your junior coaching is 10 out of 20, it will be described as adequate. After that comes good and excellent, with the top ranking being exceptional. And you'll notice there are fewer levels of tiers for junior coaching, so each description covers a wider range of scores. So having average junior coaching, for example, could mean your score is anything between 6 out of 20 and 9 out of 20. And finally, we get to youth recruitment. The aspect of youth development that determines the effectiveness of your club at signing youth
youth players to your academy. The higher your score, the more likely your club is to find new gens with high potential that will come through on youth intake day. Think of it as like a scouting network, but for new gens that are not visible in your game yet. At the bottom of the scale, limited is the lowest ranking for youth development, followed by basic and fairly basic, with average youth recruitment covering a range between 9 and 11 out of 20. After this, the levels are above average, good and excellent, with the top classification being exceptional. But keep an eye on the cost of your youth recruitment as maintaining a network of junior scouts to identify the most talented new gens will add to your monthly youth setup costs. And if you'd like to download a spreadsheet going into more detail about how the descriptions in game relate to the scores out of 20 for the various youth facilities, then head to the Manager Seat Discord, go to the Downloads channel, you'll find a link to which in the video description below.